with the uh, Darkstorm Industries Hailstorm today. We're going to run it through a whole bunch of different mags, see how they function, if it locks back, and if they drop free. You guys ready to go? I am. Starting off with the Glock Factory Magazine. We have three rounds in each mag type. Locked back. Drops free. Check that out. Next mag type is from Magpul. Locked back. Drops free. Now we've got a Korean stick mag. Locked back and drops free. Next, an FGM Tactical Stick Mag. We had a jam, probably mag related. These aren't the greatest mags. But it did lock back and drop free. Last up, an ETS Stick Mag. Lock back. And drop three. Next will be our test of running various loads through it. We're going to start off with some steel case because, uh, well, it's cheap and sometimes people like it and guns don't. Apparently this gun doesn't. Next we have some Magtech 95 grain, light for caliber load, also a bit of a snubby profile. Did not chamber. Now we've got some low recoil light for caliber load, 100 grain from Hornady. That ran just fine. Sticking with Hornady and hollow points, some American Gunner 115 grain. Issue with the lock and open. Moving into our heavier loads, we've got some Federal HST 147 grain, also a hollow point. Locked back, not sure why. And our heaviest load, some 158 grain subsonics from PPU. Without the suppressor adding extra back pressure, it'll be interesting to see how this runs. Range is fine. And for just practical evaluation, we've got uh, torso at 25 yards. Erica's got the hailstorm well, and uh, 10, 11 rounds in there, and we'll see missed. how she likes it. She, she can do some ready ups and take some shots, or just hammer away. Be left. I don't know where the hell you're 
Okay, so we were out playing with the uh, Hailstorm today from Darkstorm Industries. It's supposed to be um, a very compact defensive gun. Now, what I do like about this is that everything is super easy, um, kind of using that AR platform and the ease of Glock mags, which is super, super, super cool. Um, aesthetically, fit, finish, everything looks great. Like it. Um, can't really go wrong. You get the little cheek rest here. So you can kind of get on it. Now that said, it's a little awkward at the range. Like this isn't super steady when you're using it. Um, definitely not getting two quick shots off unless you had a lot of practice. Um, but you want to have fun with it. Like I can't necessarily say anything bad against it. Um, it would just take a little bit of getting used to. Um, ran flawlessly, didn't have any problems with it. And um, like I said, the finish is super nice. You can add some attachments here. Nice gr rubber grip here, so you're not going to lose um, anything. And then you've got a little bit of stippling to give you even more texture. And this is better than just having a brace. I find the brace is kind of silly. Um, and yeah, it worked. All right, the Hailstorm. Wonderfully built and the thing is beautiful the machining fit and finish on it um, Is what you would expect out of a top-end AR type platform uh, Was able to run any type of ammunition we put at it put through it any magazine The saddle is certainly a comfortable concept for resting the cheek on Without a single point sling. However, it was a little difficult to stabilize Without having anything to push against you're kind of pulling with your left arm pull, uh, and pulling with your right at the same time which makes for poor trigger control. Uh, that's something that we would have to train and spend some time getting good with, or just slap a sling on this thing. I'd love to try one of these in rifle format. Uh, I think if the rest of the line is built as well as this is, that uh, Darkstorm has some great guns.